best for the wicked. See how, I mean, Fnatic, this is your time. If you want to go all in aggression. <laughs> the crowd screams out techies. You sick, you oh, sick God. people. Techies mid. Oh, no, VG picked techies to delay. Hell yeah. No, Fnatic is all in. They really want to push. I, they have this very aggressive wow. lineup. VG, however, they're like, yeah, we're going to pick Medusa Necro. Just, mm. just hold on, boys. And this new jug build is typically the Manta Def I mean, not new, but the build is typically Manta Defusal. So they have some sources of mana burn already for Medusa. They could double down on that if they really want to get something like... I don't know. Do we see another Invoker? Do they want to get some kind of late game? Because I feel like you do maybe want to hedge your bets a bit and get mm -hmm. another late game scaling mid at least. Yeah. Uh, spe specifically right now, I think ROTK, he's super experienced and he's picking this Medusa because he saw how these last two games went. Uh, they were sloppy. There were a lot of mistakes. And when there's a lot of mistakes happening across the map, across the game, the game goes late. And then in the late game, whoever has the stronger carry he obviously has the advantage. It still comes down to proper execution of team fights. But if you have an advantage and a stronger carry, it makes your game a lot easier. And you got to keep it simple, right? Medusa is not about the clutch plays like, for example, Sunders on the Terror Blades. But Medusa is just really sitting there, hitting one. Oh, no, oh, oh, dear. Oh, what? What? Ooh. Six new strat we have Is this seen. some sick joke? <laughs> you blood rage your Medusa? I mean, you, you talk about defending high ground. You just drop blood right and try pushing into, you know, blood right spam coming out from a blood seek can be very annoying. How do you answer this uh, one? Where is he going to lane? Where is he going to go? This is a paparazzi blood seeker or... Who knows? Well, I mean, should Medusa be should be mid. Yeah. So Medusa we have seen Ori play the Medusa as well as the Necro, so something's going to change. Yeah, I mean, Medusa, ha I think, has to be a mid, but some teams will put their carry player mid when they have a Medusa. Um, I would say Paparazzi, he, to me, he sounds like a Bloodseeker it, it, It's player. a flex big Bloodseeker. You can put him mid, you can put him safely, and same goes for Medusa. Flex big Bloodseeker. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Coming out last year. That's, uh, yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> it's a very interesting pick, first and foremost. <laughs> yeah. But uh, if they do have a bad matchup for Medusa, but good matchup for Bloodseeker on mid, they can put that Bloodseeker mid definitely. So, hey, I, I guess it really is just the defense with Bloodseeker, and right? I'm try trying to figure out how this works in the draft really well, especially against Fanatics. And Bloodseeker thrives in situations of like chaos without a lot of control, right? He gets to run up to you, he gets to back hit you up after you're bleeding, and run all over the place. I mean, but they have grab here. And they got Shaman, they got Brewmaster. Ooh. And okay. now, the monkey. Real quick before before we talk a little bit about uh, who we think is going to have the upper hand. Bloodseeker's ultimate, the biggest change yeah, is that he, it doesn't kill anymore. Right. I mean, we haven't seen Bloodseeker in forever, so that's the biggest thing people should know, right? His ultimate, you can run away and you won't die. The yes. last time we saw Bloodseeker Unless... was in Dream League Qualifier actually together. Ooh. Yeah, that... There you go. All right. Is the Bloodseeker Lizard enough to convince you that Vici is going to take this game? Sure, or why not? Sure, why not? Why not? <laughs> did <laughs> did, right. did, did Vici convince this. you? Did Shiva convince you? You didn't no. take much convincing. Uh, honestly, the Bloodseeker and Doza, it looks kind of crazy. It's late at night. Crazy things happen. Maybe Vici can take it with these heroes. It's possible. What do you think, Gods? Come on. Bloodseeker. I'm going uh, to keep... Uh, this guy's insane. <laughs> I didn't, you know, I can't side with insane right now. I'm going to go with Fnatic, my Southeast Asian boys. I think they've got game two. I'm disappointed. Ooh, Blood Seeker, huh? Play a lot of Shadow Shaman. You know what I'm not afraid of? Blood Seekers, yeah? Just grab them. They come and run at your carry. Just grab them. It's a piece of cake. They got locked down for days. Let's go for Fnatic. I'm going for Fnatic as well. <laughs> <You> guys are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out if the Blood Seeker is going to work. Of course, as always, make sure you're putting your votes for the MVP. And for the last time tonight, make some noise for Odie Pixel and Fall. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. The final game of the day, Fnatic versus Vici Gaming, game three, ready to go. And my goodness, folks, we have a Bloodseeker. What is this hero doing? That's a good question. And we'll find out. I mean, I'm <laughs> sure we'll see what the idea is in uh, my mind here. Crazy happen, things happen so this late at night, and a Bloodseeker.
Bloodseeker coming through in this all-important game. Let's see what Paparazzi has hidden up his sleeves with this Bloodseeker performance yeah. as we get into the final game of the day. So something that he can provide for you is they have this. They have a combo, at least. They have Rupture plus Venge Swap. So the damage that can come out between these two in the later stages of the game is actually extremely high. You actually pretty much like burst someone down almost full. That is a really adorable courier. And the other thing I guess you could say is he actually provides them some type of silence and some other follow-up. So if they do get this Nyx stun, they have a Venge stun, then they can get this Blood right down and guarantee get the silence onto a target, in particular the Brewmaster. I think that's the biggest thing they wanted. They wanted to have some extra type of control to make sure this Brew can't get split off as well. We'll see if it plays out for them. They also now to do have uh, multiple ways of buffing up this Dusa. So they have the Venge Aura with Wave of Terror, and then they also have a Blood Rage they can throw on the Dusa too. So. That's the best. That's the best I got on about this blood. Smoking. All right. Well, we'll see if it works out for Paparazzi. As we say, something that we don't get to see every day. The the blood seeker come into play, especially with those changes. Which you know, the, there are definitely going to be situations where you, you know, Fnatic they can just make a run for it. Yeah, he just starts getting pressured a lot. He I, the hero takes a sizable amount of damage, especially from right clicks early on. Since whenever you do pop your blood rage, and he's versus a brewmaster and pro potentially a shadow shaman. So brew shadow shaman, if it is that lane, this blood seeker is gonna suffer to get any last hits down your note. Also, eat a lot of pressure. Uh, being a nice size size brew as well, you can certainly expect the hero to be pushed to its limits and and play very well in the laning matchup. Yeah. As runes starts off, nice size size is able to walk over and claim a second. So there'll be three for the three of the four going the way off fanatic. Yep, we see them starting off with their dual lane. We see DJ already making his way toward that bottom lane. So Paparazzi, he's going to need help. Otherwise, he's going to get very limited last hits unless it's under his tower from this Brewmaster and Shadow Shaman. He's at risk of dying, too. As soon as they hit level 2, yeah. they do have kill threat. I'd be very surprised if he does get left on his own. Yeah, I mean, as you said, at the moment, Vici Gaming, the style with his tri lane top. We'll see how long that lasts until they do move the support down bottom. Just scary, too, right? Like, this top tri lane, it's, it's a jug Grimstroke. So they've got the kill threat. Level 2, they've got kill threat always onto anybody who steps up too far. Stroke of Faith plus the Ninx Swell on the spinning jug. They can definitely look to get kills. Immediately, we do see the swap coming, though. Fade goes down bottom to try to help out that Bloodseeker who's trying to last it under tower versus DJ, who is going to need a little bit of harassment here. Should be able to walk himself away with the boots, but... We'll give Paparazzi. I mean, he actually missed. He missed like all oh, nice. that one. Top lane with the Blade Fury MP. He's able to chase down. Yeah, that's first blood already here. Picked up by Fnatic. This top lane is is very weak for Vici in comparison for to Fnatic. I mean, Fnatic's got one of the stronger combos with that Grimstroke. They don't even have the Ink Swell just yet. So these lanes, I mean, they're definitely looking to be problematic for the side of Vici, except for that mid lane. Dusa should build a farm pretty well. Uh, back up top, Dy and Jang back into the lane. They will be able to harass MP a little bit. It's but it, it, it really is. Any time that Blade Fury's up, they have to be careful. Dy jabs. He's gonna get the stun connection. MP's in. Doesn't have Blade Fury quite quite back up yet. A couple more seconds than it would have been. It does mean the Nyx Assassin is able to get away safely. Mid lane matchup. Ori on that Dusa up against the Arbed Monkey King. At the moment, CS looking pretty even. Yeah. I guess it w will it get to a point where sort of the Mystic Snake is enough to just sort of keep Arbed incredibly low on the mana and make it hard for Arbed to make aggressive plays, or does the Monkey King always have uh, an edge being that sort of rain, uh, sort of melee hero that that's a little easier to get the CS and denies with? Dusa will definitely start to take over this okay. one. Yeah. I think the beginning few wins. Uh, your Monkey King has good uh, base damage versus Dusa, and you yeah. have. I mean, your armor isn't the greatest, but you're, you're good to get those last hits because you have a great animation in comparison. But yeah, Deuce should be able to get good control. Yeah, actually, uh, I think I... This is actually me being a noob, and I'll call it out here. I call myself out as... Do you dodge the mana burn? I don't think you do anymore, right? You dodge the damage. It's only the damage. Yeah, so that's what I thought. He's able to get the four Jingu stacks off here. And yeah, he did. He actually dodged the damage that we got hit by the mana burn. Which, so which I mean, still it. could be nice. That, that snake can hit very hard. Sure, it the can. mana burn's annoying, but if it gets a good bounce off, it's it's going to hurt a lot. So. Yeah. You can tell him that dodge is going to help you a lot in this lane still. We see bottom, as we were kind of expecting, Paparazzi suffering. He's only got seven last hits compared to 12 and 3 of the Brewmaster. And we see three denies on the Shadow Shaman already. So yeah, lane's looking... Very nice right now for Fnatic. His top, they might look for Yang here again. They've got this Ink Swall, they've got the combo. Oh, Jab's actually used it on himself. He did, didn't use it on MP. Still there with the Blade Fury. It's a lot of damage onto Yang, but not quite enough. That it, had that, to have been a double tap. Uh, it would have been a, a guaranteed kill uh, if that was put down onto the Juggernaut, but it wasn't. Jabs with uh, a little bit of a misplaced They time down bottom, though. DJ able to collapse and get the kill onto Fade with that Earth Shock. Jabs was able to break the uh, salve that Yang had going, though, so Yang is not the healthiest right now in bottom. They just yeah, look, continue to pressure this Bloodseeker. Just don't let him get that farm. No, Paparazzi now is 12 and 2. 
Got a little bit of last hits building up, and he does have that level three now. Makes him quite a bit stronger. So he does have the blood right plus that stun combo if anyone steps up too far. Again, another attack with the Blade Fury back online to look towards DY. DY will get healed up by the Death Pulse. Pops the stick charges, won't save him though. They have the damage out, but to get the kill, Yang is trying to find something in return as a run down jabs. Will be able to find the trade as the Grimstroke will slowly die there. Yang just letting him tick down to the aura as he knows that there's no way the jab's can escape. So Vichy Gaming at least able to get their first kill on the board, but as you say, overall fanatic. Hovering around this 1k, 2k lead at 4 minutes in very early on. I mean, Abid's owning this. Oh, Abid's doing incredibly well in this mid-match. 21-10 to the 15-2. He's getting so many extra denies over him. Yes. That is in particular because I think he was actually able to build up Jingo Stacks twice. So those Jingo Stacks provided him, I think, 3 or 4 denies in two different waves. They've got a good wrap around here, DJ. See if he can get on top of Ori. Ori has to be careful how far forward he heads down into the river. As DJ will be there with lockdown and time for... Robert to come in and get the stacks up. So close. Still hasn't caught wind off the Shaman's position. Ori is heading a little too far for the pigs come out. This is the time to make the move. DJ's in with the shackles. He'll allow time for Robert to get the jingle up. The boundless strike comes down. And DJ there with the positioning and the patience to catch that Medusa off guard. And now that mid matchup is, I mean, it's already been Albert's favorite, but now even more so as he can be, he can actually make these aggressive plays. If he has boots, I look which at DJ. He, does, he can. He heads down towards the bottom, has the mango in the shackles. The shackles will get canceled by the magic missile. DJ just goes for straight away. That TP out of harm's way. I taunted them a little bit there. He has the shrine available, so he wants to cancel and keep his map pressure on. And yeah, now Albert, he's gonna have foot his boots very early on. And then, or he's actually under so much pressure. You might have to just have to back up and go to jungle just because this, this Monkey King's going to be able to run him down, or run her down, very easily. Yeah, but nearly with a, a two-level advantage over this Medusa with the way that lane started. Top lane, MP has his phase boots. So already, you know, we've seen how much Fnatic can do offensively between the two of them. Now they can do more. Bottom lane, Shackles will get cancelled by the Blood Bright. This pressure continues to get constantly applied on Paparazzi Safe Lane Bloodseeker. Yeah, he just can't even step up now. He can't He can't be down here alone. They have to have the Venge sitting behind him or he's at risk of dying every single time. Fade right now is trying to get some wards down as this Venge. He's able to do so and actually get himself a rune too. So if you can set anything up with this Invis, to start to head down towards the bottom lane. Not the, the easiest of kills. Maybe if they catch out DJ a little too far forward on the Shaman, they could try for it. Paparazzi. Taking a heavy beating though, so it's a bit of a bait. They do silence the Shaman, they'll go with the Magic Missile. They've also got DY here as well. If they can land the follow-up stun, they should have it. But DJ knows, he turns, he hexes up the Nyx Assassin. The stun does still come out, they'll get the kill. See if Ice 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 can get anything in return. Doesn't look like he can chase that Paparazzi. He's just having to back off. Pops the stick charges, Magic Missile in for Blood Bright under the tower. Ice 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 will be fine though, they cannot dive in for now. At the same time, Jabs will find Jang on that top lane as they're able to chase down the Necrophos once again. Whoever you leave alone in the side lanes is gonna die to Fnatic. For sure, they just have such good kill threat in their lanes that they've that they've distributed because of their picks. And they actually got the Drunken Brawler before the uh, Blood Rake went off bottom, so yeah, that evasion, they couldn't actually go for the dive. But a quick play, you know, they, they baited it forward, Paparazzi stepped up intentionally there for them to be able to at least get up a setup kill, but... Right now, it's a 2k advantage ready for Fnatic. It's 20 denies on Abed. Yeah, Abed's played this mid lane perfectly. I mean, as you said, you would have assumed that this would be a, a tricky lane for the Monkey King, but uh, they, Abed's not making it look like that at all. No, definitely not. I mean... This is it, this is really him just playing it to, to absolute perfection. You've, uh, you know, definitely, we've seen this matchup before and it's not gone this well for the Monkey King. Yeah, I mean, he just, it really does come into play if he's just dodging, if he's able to dodge a couple snakes and then he can just out, out regen at the start there and that's, that seems that's when it's happening in the rotation, of course. What a nice, it's the start to fade and fade. Scored out of position there. That'll be an easy kill here for the Brute Master. They will turn towards DJ, chasing down the Shaman. He has some stick charges. Won't be enough to keep him alive. So they get the trade. We saw the Ice 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 on this bottom lane. It's getting closer and closer to having that six. And when he has the Primal Spell in line, it'll be even harder for Vici Gaming to try for those plays. As he'll be ready to turn with the ultimate and cause a lot of issues. Yeah, and they have to be careful how far they dive too, because there is still TPs on these other heroes, like Monkey King as well as Juggernaut. They can make moves easily. You see Abed is actually holding a point here. He's 2-0. He's actually holding a lot of points here on the Monkey King. He's 2-0 and 3. He's level 8. So, 
He can choose what type of build he wants to go for. If he wants to level up the Primal Spring a bit more, if he wants to get the ulti, go full bound the strike. We'll see which one he wants. That's all. Silence is there to set up for the Omni Stack. They're straight in onto Yang. Yang does have the Ghost Trap, but they've got that Blade Fury magical damage to go through it as they'll dive in towards the tower, get the kill on the Necrophos. They'll turn towards DY as well. DY, he'll fall as well. Double kill for Jabs. Straight up outplay from Fnatic on that top lane, causing issues for Yang and DY. It's for the entirety of this first, aiming as a gameplay, it looked like a rough lane, and it really is. They're giving away a lot to this juggernaut. Yeah. We see immediately the Diffusal Blade is being queued up for Abed, probably the, one of the best heroes to actually hold it versus Medusa. You just throw that Wukong's command and those monkeys are going to be burning that mana quickly from Medusa. And Ori just kind of has to like back up in jungle. She under a bit of threat here because of how well this monkey nice. is. We'll put the primal split. Yang's come in. He'll send Yang up into the air. See if he's got the damage to bring down this Bloodseeker. Uh, Paparazzi trying his best to hide it out. They've got another stun to throw out. Yang is going to be there offering the Death Pulse heals to keep Paparazzi safe. Another move from the Wind Panda to send this Necrophos up into the high ground to make sure the heals aren't there. They do get the follow up here. They're moving it back oh, with the Jackals. The they rotation for Jabs as well with his Soulbind. The two man silence. Jabs coming down to this bottom lane. Sets up for the kill on Fade. The silence persists. Assisting onto this Necrophos, he gets the Ghost Shroud and the stick charges off. But the three heroes still beating down onto him. He will have backup coming in in the form of the TP. The TP actually going to be cancelled. As there will not be any more help for Yang. Yang is healed back up to full though with these death bosses, so he should be fine. Jab's already level six though on a Grimstroke. It's not even 10 minutes in and he's able to make that move bottom and put pressure on. 3k gold advantage and yeah they're, they're just looking to keep this keep this going here we saw Abed he recognizes Dusa jungling so he gets this one level primal of the tree dance he just jumps in and starts hunting the Dusa a little yeah. bit and putting pressure on I believe as well you know the Dusa he tried to go for the TP bottom I think it was uh, Abed who just cancelled the TP with the boundless strike as well as he managed to find the, the Medusa as he was trying to make that move but there's a uh, beautiful Invis rune here floating in what the <laughs> that actually looks really really weird with the cloud you, I've never seen a hasted Invis rune on a cloud the things that sort of happen at the, the, the midnight hour. <laughs> oh god, look, oh, look and now it's <laughs> And this Invis Rune here punches, and Paparazzi, he's dead! No, they, 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 nobody expects the Invis Rune gang. The and Invis he, Rune he just got ganked well. by an Invis Rune. <laughs> Crazy things happening in this game already, and for, okay. look, for Dea, favoring Fnatic, for, for, for sure. 10 to 3, 4k lead at 10 minutes in. And they've got good ways to keep their momentum going and their ta and their pushes going too. They just need to get DJ level six. You see, he TP's mid. He's like, I need to get Serpent Ward so we can actually start pushing some towers because their tower push without him is isn't the greatest. They're gonna use that glyph to protect this uh, catapult down bottom. So maybe they'll be able yeah. to guarantee this one down here. In trouble again. The silence into the Omni Slash. They they're gonna lose this Necrophos. This Ghost Shroud just doing nothing against the Juggernaut. He's, he's, he always has the Blade Fury to follow. Yang does have decent amount of movement speed to just get away from the Blade Fury, but they'll run him down. Surely Yang cannot get out of this one. He cannot get another heal off. Jabs again, just dominating kill after kill after kill this game. The aggressive plays for Vici are just so limited. They have to play reactionary and Dota at this point because of the way that they have their draft. Like this Dusa can't really get aggressive. It's really up to the Bloodseeker as well as his next assassin to make so much bass. Getting a little greedy with his farm position. He'll go for the TP out, but he's not going to make it. Fades him with the magic missile. Arbed will fall. Getting a little cocky and aggressive there with that positioning. Trying to take some neutrals away from Vici Gaming, but around that shrine, that was always going to be a risk. That uh, certainly was not worth taking. Yeah, even under some vision too. They probably saw him there farming there for a little bit with that ward they do have. TY also getting involved. That level six vendetta knows he needs to make tons of moves to be able to try to make space because I mean it's it's looking rough a little bit right now with that five K gold advantage and they, they have two heroes that carry Diffusal Blade great versus this Deuce. Yeah, they're both Juggernaut, rushing it. As well as that Monkey King. Yeah. They've also got ways to deal with a lot of this, uh, a lot of the team fights. You look at Fnatic, their team fight is just stronger than Vici's by a good margin with this Bruce split. Not only just the Bruce split, but even the uh, Monkey King ulti too. And they just have, they just have a bit more being able to go into these fights. And like Necrophos Yang, he's very easy to kill if they do have Bruce split because he can just dispel Gross Shroud. They've got a lot of different ways of magic damage as well. So yeah, Vici, you see there, making sure to at least sit by. Ori for now with Fade, giving a little bit of aura boost to farm, but Fnatic, they're looking to hunt. They just gotta keep making plays. They are, so nice and jabs. Have the promise, put the soul bind ready to open with. See who they can get a wraparound on. Beachy Gaming will be ready to respond for the way that they're standing by one another. 
Let's see if they can get the jump. One Ori and DY in the mid lane. DY is going to get dusted up. Double hex. Get the vision for the double hex. The balance truck onto the two of them. DJ, he's going for the double shackle. The blood rise down. They've lost the Medusa. Big kill to start the fight up for Fnatic and MP. Waltz is in with the blade fury. Cuts down DY. They've got their eyes onto Yang. Jump forward with the primal spray. They'll slow down the Necrophos. Hex is there. Locking down Yang. A third kill for Fnatic. As that fight there, they're just collapsing past the tier one tower. Not a lot that VG Gaming can do to hold them off. As well as the three kills, they'll get this tier one tower as well. Fnatic playing very fast here in this game three. They know they can play fast. They're playing versus a Medusa. Medusa card with the Bloodseeker, a hero that we haven't seen in a very long time. I know we saw uh, Lizard was saying in the qualifiers, but this is a hero that's not popular and for, for good reason. Doesn't provide a whole lot to you, and with a with a Medusa on your team, he doesn't provide you like any type of like help. He can only just throw a blood right under you, and that's pretty much it to try to protect you. So yeah, they don't really have they don't have team fight, and their split push is a bit limited too, since they're playing versus this Shadow Shaman who can constantly catch you. I'm definitely quite concerned for Vici in this game already at this 14 minute mark, a 6k advantage for Dy. Still looking to make these plays constantly. Right, it's going to get on to DJ. DJ did manage to get the hex off. Put the magic missile down. Blood right upon him. DJ's gone. DJ Gaming able to get the pick off. Instantly, Ice 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 is out of the bottom lane. Knows that there's trouble inbound. Space is going to be there for MP to get a lot of pressure onto this tier one tower top. As he, as we say, wants to rush towards that defusal. Make sure the Fnatic hit this very early uh, potential in terms of doing the fighting. And Arbed, he's got his done. Oh, man. If he's able to get the Wukongs in on Ori with the five surrounding him, it's... Yeah, he's gonna melt so fast. It's gonna be incredibly fast. He's also now, he also now just... It's not even just versus the Deuce, and now he can set up easily to look for kills on pretty much anybody, because you can just chase them down. You don't have to use your Boundless Strike. You get the Defusal to get that chase. His Bounties come out. Looks like it might be three for Fnatic. Actually, I'm not gonna check the uh, high ground Bounty Rune. Bill from Pat Pratt. So this game, I believe he has what the drums coming out. It's going to be phase drums into BKB. He wants yeah. to make sure that he can just get in the middle of the fight and get his spells off. DJ catching out DY. Look at the vision upon him and get that quick kill. Ori, they are going to move on him in that middle lane. MP is TPing out. There's the setup. Dead. They'll surround him. Wukong's come on down. And as you say, this timing on the defusal plate is just going to cause so many issues for the Medusa. Yeah, they can always just close the gap too. This whole bind, I think, connected to like what a creep or something like that. And they can easily just close that gap on top of him with Abed. 7k gold advantage and it doesn't seem like it's going to be slowing down and the playmaking from Vici, it's it's just they can only make plays pretty much like vendetta and they just make three heroes try to go for it because they're yeah they just don't have it and they don't have team fights they just can't take anything versus fanatic and Fnatic can just keep pushing in all the lanes and looking to just keep getting all the fights in their favor looking very grim fanatic no you know as yeah as the leader they have they can just Pretty much take whatever they want from the map. There's nothing that VG Gaming can do to stop any sort of five-man players in the moment. As MP, I believe he's going to have his Diffuser Blade being sent out. Then Midas is done on Ice Ice Ice's brew. Yeah, they've got the Sentry down too, so they, they see DY, and DY is looking to be... Pretty damn dead. They, they did the swap out, but though. Fade. And we'll keep DY safe for now. As he is able to get away, they will turn their attention towards Fade instead. MP doesn't want to go up to the high ground, though. Nice. So Fade actually will get away. Nice save there, keeps them all alive. But you can just still see the way that this game is being played. Vici, they're all kind of just hovering around each other. Fnatic is doing the same, but Fnatic are on the... They're, you know, they, they've crossed the river. They're they're making the aggressive plays. Vici just does not have the ways to even take towers either. Like they, They're just very limited in their drafts, what they can make happen. MP's going to want to have... Want to get control of that courier ASAP as... He has his Diffusal Blade done as well. Both cores ready to go. Up top, DY. Goes for the Vendetta, gets dusted up across the tree line. But uh, we'll be able to TP away. They're not able to get in with any sort of disable in time. Bottom lane. I'll bet. Was there on the Monkey King, but uh, also just removing himself from the vicinity as soon as he's aware that Vici Gaming are on the hunt. Yeah, I mean, they, uh, Fnatic have been playing very aggressively, so when you're able to get down all these towers early on, your supports have more gold, so you also have more easier access to be able to put down these deep wards to watch Vici's movements. So we see the two wards down bottom to watch whenever Vici does look to make that, like, that play to clean out their jungle. Fnatic will be aware of it, and TJ's able to just get this tower for himself, and he still has Serpent Wards. 
And Arbed's farm just continuing to, to rock on. He's almost got the Echo Saber done over the Diffusal Blade. <sighs> yeah. Ori is starting to I mean, starting to catch back up on this Dusa, but not a place that you want to be on your Reduce anyway. Level 14 at least, but yeah, versus these double Diffusal Blades and easy ways to get to the back lines for Fnatic. It's, it's not looking at... Not looking like the place he wants to be is yeah, Fnatic. They just make their way to that rush pit, and there's no team fight on Vici. There's no way that they can try to contest this one. And not until they'll scan it out. But uh, the sort of confirmation of the information is not going to lead to anything from Vici Gaming. They know they can't do that. They have to at least get the, this sort of first item on Paparazzi. Still working towards that BKB. It's not going to come very quickly at all. It's been a slow start for the Bloodseeker. Yep. Which is uh, certainly not the same case for, for the three cores of Fnatic, which are all on track to where they want to be at this point. As now, with the Aegis in the hands of Arbed, they can absolutely keep this pressure on, take these final Tier 2 towers and get closer and closer to being ready for a very high, early high ground siege against Fiji Gaming. Yeah. Get these boards set up too so you can spot whenever the Medusa is making the moves out or farming because you know this Deuce is going to be farming in some like risky spots just to make sure she can be able to defend that high ground. It's actually DY who's farming risky right now, but... We'll see what Fnatic can hunt down with this sweep around. Finding the Necrophos would be a juicy one. Getting Yang out once more. He's not had the, the cleanest of game starts this match. Only 1, 5, and 0 on the KDA. Also gonna find a potential DY next to him, Yang. He's going for the TP out anyway, he cancels the time. Yeah, yeah. CJ gets the Hex off into the Omni Slash. That'll be Yang gone, the stun to set up onto DY. Fnatic will take both, and MP's the one to get the final blow. Double kill for the Juggernaut. MP's farm continuing to shoot upwards. Man, I just, I, I'm not seeing many plays that Fiji can really do. It's kind of just farm. Because they just can't respond in the in versus what Fnatic's doing. Fnatic every single time they're bringing three heroes and Vici, it, they can't really bring three heroes to match that. They have to have pretty much bring five to match the three of Fnatic because of how powerful they are already. Especially if the Brewmaster or that Monkey King is there. Any of the cores are there from Fnatic pretty much. I mean, yeah, every single core of Fnatic just does so much more than that of the cores of Vici Gaming at this point of the game. DY will look for the setup on mid. The Blood Bright Silence will connect onto the Brewmaster with the Soulbind. Double Hex is out. Fades there with the swap to at least keep this Bloodseeker safe. The Shackles from DJ down, but there's the wrap around. Battle Struck under the four, but they do get the Stone Gaze connection onto Arbet. Arbet's out of it though, and Ori, he's out of mana. The Deuce just gets shredded by this Diffusal Blade Monkey King. Yang gets the Ghost Shred out. He's trying to back away, but Arbet chases him down with the Echo Saber. The stun from the Primal Split locking down the Necrophos. Yang will fall as well. Double kill for Arbed, three dead on Vici Gaming, and the Fnatic, they're not done yet. Chasing forward on a paparazzi, barrel is strike down, Hex there from DJ, that'll be another for sure. Fade will swap him back, does keep paparazzi safe, paparazzi better just run his little legs back to base, as Fade has given his life for him, four dead on Vici Gaming, triple kill for Arbed. This game just continuing to ball out of control for Vici Gaming, as Fnatic are just making these quick moves, and Vici Gaming, they do not have the lineup to do anything anything in response at this point of the game. They can't take team fights. They, they don't have team fight heroes and they don't really have that much damage. They actually got the Carapace off onto the Monkey King and then the Stone Gate. Oh, they didn't have a follow up. The Stone Gate does get the setup. The Blood Right, the Reaper side down. They okay. managed to get MP. Arbed also silenced him, but kill him once. Can right. they do it again? They'll surround him. They'll try their best, Arbed. Can he play his way out of this one? He's still got the Wukongs come on, lays it down. Does get the Jingle Mastery, stacks up. Can he get any heals off? He's got to start hitting people, but he's not going to get the chance. Arbet falls as well. Fiji Gaming. After what looked to be a, a potentially sort of game-ending team fight, they strike back hard. They get themselves back in with those short early game respawns. And they get two, well, three kills, but two of them being the big ones, both Arbed and MP getting caught out. And that will allow this Deusa to, to stay on par with the farm of both of these cores that have had an exceptional start to the game. I mean, Yang's able to get that Reaper Scythe on the Juggernaut. That's the biggest thing there. They don't have their Bruce Split available, obviously, on the side of Fnatic. And yeah, this time, like you said, the quick respawn, since they're still very low level, everybody's still pretty much available to be able to fight that one there. Brings them back a tiny bit here. They still have, it's just the Dusa who's really farming though. Yang is bottom five net worth behind the Shadow Shaman. And the Shadow Shaman is also pretty much the same farm as Paparazzi. So it's a small step toward the right direction, but they need, they need a couple more of those to happen. They need Fnatic to make those type of mistakes when they don't have the primal split up. 
A scan there from Fnatic did confirm the whereabouts of Paparazzi, but you see teeping out just before Ice 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 was able to get eyes on him. Does he have a, does DJ have a BKB? What's he got on that courier? It's Let's gonna be something nice. Out. It is the BKB. full BKB. So there are ways to stop it. They have the swap, they have Stone Gate, they, they have like the Reaper Scythe. I mean Reaper Scythe you don't you don't really want to use on that, but they do have ways to stop that shackle, at least to protect their teammates. But that's scary. I mean, it's it's 23 minutes, and he's got Aetherlands BKB on this, you know, four position. And he's and also got the Serpent Wards ready to drop once more. Yep. They're going to start walking down to the bottom. Ice 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 is trading with the Primal Spit. The Soulbind's down onto the two of them. The Necrophos being held in place. He has to back away and be careful how close he gets. The Blood right down. Fnatic committing MP with the Blade Fury, trying to hit into the melee racks. The Serpent Wards continuing to take these racks pretty quickly. Jackal's committed by DJ. The Omni Slash there to follow up. The Wukus come on. Valley strike down. This is going to be Yang falling very, very low. They're trying their best to get out of it, but the melee racks are already Arbed. gone. Fnatic, who will they lose? Of course they do. They lose Arbed. MP as well, he's getting right click down here by VG Gaming, he'll try his best to run, but the swap back's there from Fade. Fnatic, they did get the objective, they got that melee rags, but again, they are feeding kills over to Ori. This, this Medusa is only going to get stronger, and the high ground pushes are only going to get harder. Yeah, level 17 now, almost finishing up with a butterfly too, so... One thing is that they can actually turn and kill the Primal Split with this Dusa when she does get pretty farmed with a Vengeful Spirit Aura. If Ice 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 isn't careful, his his Brulings could definitely get brought down. That is another step toward the right direction for Vici. It's fanatic, like you said, they got the Rax, but a Rax is, you know, Rax is all nice and everything, but you're versus Dusa. This Dusa can play versus this. Necrophos yeah. Bloodseeker can also deal with the range with the Rax being taken out. Top DY. I was hunting for Ice Ice Ice. Knew he was there, but Ice 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 already able to blink safely. Mm -hmm. Quite a decent uh, distance. Unlikely the DY is able to hunt any deeper through these trees. Fnatic still with a good control of this with that 80% according to Dota Plus, 8k gold lead too. And you can tell when they do have their everything like popped, when they do have Primal Split active, they're very, very strong. But once that Bruce, Blue Split like, starts wearing off, they have to be very careful about their positioning here. Medusa now starting to get starting to get items, starting to get higher damage too from the levels that come out since Venge is level 12 too. So damage will come naturally now from them a bit more. Spirit Vessel finish for our Grimstroke, so Yang, don't believe they have any way to uh, dispel that just yet. Almost there for the Guardian Greaves. But that Vessel could be definitely causing some problems on this Necrophos. As Fnatic, they look like they've, they've chilled out a little bit, maybe wanted to wait for... Wait for the information they get for the next Roche before they want to try to make that heads up play. I think they're also building toward BKBs on the, uh, at least on that Monkey King. I believe he has the, uh, put the Mifra hammer. Oh, he's got the full yeah. one. They both have it, actually. It's, I believe yeah, the Brewmaster is very close to his as well. But there's that big pickup, as you were saying, we were seeing where he built towards being completed. The Butterfly complete on the Medusa. So as long as Vici Gaming can keep him in a safe position, and he's able to hit back, he, as you say, he's going he's to be able to kill through the Primal Split. And he's also going to be able to do a lot of damage as well through things like MPs going for a Blade Fury commitment. He, he has to be careful, he will get right clicked down through the Blade Fury. Yep. It's time for Fnatic to go. They'll smoke up mid. Ready to charge in every single ult, ready to go. As the Creep Wave will push up. Yeah, they still don't want this game to get too slowed down versus this Dusa. Still trying to take advantage of whenever they do have that split, but Ichi, they're smoking out themselves. And now, like, we're talking about this this high ground spot. Yeah, both Fnatic team having their, their smokes dispelled, so they know the whereabouts of one another. Fnatic knowing the Vici Gaming have left the base, and Vici Gaming knowing the Fnatic at least have one person up there on the high ground. Let's see what sort of a move they can go for. Looks like they'll show and start to just push onto the tier 1 mid. This will leave opportunity for Fnatic to try for the wraparound. As Vici Gaming get the tower. They're pinging it out like they want to kind of jump whenever Vici does start to back up. Oh, but we'll show, cutting the wave, DY, trying for the blink forward, ice, 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 he's going to commit with the primal split. They're trying to disengage. Let's see what he can control, they turn, DJ, he gets the hex out onto the Deuce, can they kill this Deuce in time, they have the Serpent Wars, BKB committed by Arbor as well with the Wukos come on, and all of the matter of the Deuce is drained, or he's out of the fight, Paparazzi has to go for the BKB TP out, he'll make it away, the rest of his team though won't be quite as lucky as it seems, Yang is able to get out, but Fade will be left behind in the river, Fnatic will take two out of this. 
<laughs> as they get that jump. I get DJ getting him with the hex. Everything just being focused perfectly on Ori, getting the Wukong's command in the, the ideal area around him. So you have all of these, the, the, the monkeys hitting in, burning the mana at the deuce. So you saw how quickly Ori's mana pool disappeared. Yeah, it looked like there was a little bit, I don't know if he, he did like the wrong pathing or something, because he looked like he was walking down the river, and then he turned around and walked back up toward the hill. So he put himself kind of in a awkward position versus Fnatic. As the rest of his team, they were looking like they wanted to do full disengage, and he looked like he walked right into Fnatic. So a bit of a mistake there coming in, and that's very punished as Broch comes up. Fnatic's going to be able to secure that one. Finish up these next few items. I believe the BKB finished now on the Brewmaster too, so more options for him to play inside of his, you know, play without that uh, brew split. He can actually like walk up and start hitting people before he's forced to use it. Well, definitely where we are. Going to see Fnatic be tested again is when they try and push the high ground. Sure, having the ages is nice and such, but... We saw the last push getting shut down. Sure, they get it racks, but they have to be careful about giving away these core kills. If each time Ori is staying alive on the defensive, this Medusa is going to become a huge issue if the game does somehow keep on going. If Vici Gaming are just able to, to stop Fnatic from, from shutting the game down, you cannot underestimate this Medusa's potential. Mm -hmm. They have to force something. Well, they want to force something, at least with this Aegis and Cheese, when they have the Bruce Split available again. As soon as that's up, I think they're just going to look to make the play out. Maybe get a deep ward, try to just look for some type of dive play, just with the Brew jumping in and finding somebody. Speechy, they're actually just trapped in their base, so the thing is also, Fnatic could just play the economy game. As long as they get some wards outside of the base, they can just control the whole map and just out-farm. Got a couple options that they can go for here. DY on the hunt out. We'll just put the smoke on DJ and Jabs. So they'll put the dust immediately, but bam, with the blink out. He's back up to the high ground, smoke dispelled, and he'll keep himself safety one. Two lanes pushing in. We see uh, Ice Ice is actually resetting himself. They look like they're preparing for those bounty runes. So, like we talked about, they can also play that economy game. So, claim four bounties. Maybe hope that they see somebody coming outside. They actually do get a glimpse there for a quick second from that ward. It looked like they were pinging it out before that smoke came out. Got very good wall vision around it to fight with. Straight away the fade will be in with the D ward, making this area of the map a little harder for Fnatic to get into. Amanta style done as well for MP. You can see with the itemization of Ori, he realizes he's got to do something about this mana burn. He's queuing up at the BKB. He, he has to get it. It's just the, the, the mana burn is just too effective against him. He's up against two cores with Diffusal Blades, and now a core with a Diffusal Blade and a Manta style. The nice thing they have is at least they have this uh, Vengeful Spirit. So, you know, Fade, you're going to have to watch the positioning for, for if you can get the swaps off before that BKB is available. See so in the middle there, DY trying to, to catch Albert out with the Spike Carapace underneath the Primal Spring, but wasn't quite able to get him in range. 30 minutes, double siege with Aegis Cheese. It's time to push they an ice ice trade in with the BKB. They get the hex off as well onto the Deucer. Swap will be there, but the balance strikes out onto the two. The shackles from DJ locking down another. The Stone Gaze is out in time though, and already Ori starts to punch back. He's out of mana though on this Medusa. Paparazzi with his own BKB trying to commit for the Reaper side. MP's he catches out MP. That's the jump on the Primal Spin. It's dying. Ice 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 has to back out and get out of there, but Paparazzi chases him down, kills him off through the spit. The swap back on Arbet. Arbet's got the BKB. Gift the Wukong's command. Oh. Fnatic, they've already lost three other heroes around him. He can't out get out. Albert, magic missile stun, followed up by DY. Fiji Gaming hold. Ori just holds his ground. Fade even just swaps the Brewmaster away. I thought he was actually going for the Deucer, but no, Ori's able to just stand there with that butterfly available. Has so much damage from the bench. He can just stand it, like I was talking about. Kill that Bruce split. You don't have to worry too much about it when you are able to get this butterfly online. And sure, the Wukong's command does a lot, but the rest of the team, Fnatic, aren't able actually to get into that fight. Another fantastic hold by Vici. And that was a fight without the BKP. Next time, Ori's gonna have it. Yeah. This, it's looking a little rough for Fnatic, these failed pushes. I mean, Paparazzi too, this butt he's 5, 1, and 6. He's able to get these chase outs whenever they do start getting low, and they, they are going to start getting low, and with Ori just hit, getting that split shot, hitting all the different heroes. And Ice Ice Ice, he, he just cannot go for those sort of plays. They, they, the promise, but this just dies too easily. Yeah. Until what he gets the, 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 well, the extra Level health 20. talent yeah. on That'll the promise, but it's, it's close. It'll help quite a lot, especially also if he's able to get that AC in time, because that, that armor that does come into play. But yeah, MP just keeps getting Reaper Sight too inside of the fights. 
And now both courts, both Paparazzi and Ori with the BKB butterfly combos online. Yep. They're very hard for Fnatic to kill. Especially with the way that Vici Gaming have been holding together as a team, as a unit. They're not being caught out alone at all whatsoever at this point of the game. Yeah. And it's nice too that they have, uh, you know, and this was purchased a bit ago too, but for the Necrophos, he has those Guardian Griefs, so that'll provide even a little bit of jolt of mana to the Medusa. A jolt of mana could allow you to get Mystic Snake off, and if you get Mystic Snake off, you're pretty much full mana again if you end up hitting like two targets because of how much, how much it really does with that talent, the 30% extra steal. I mean, you can feel it as well, Fnatic, they really want to try and get up to another set of racks, take another tier 3 and, and get those Serpent Wars dropped down at the barracks. But it's getting increasingly harder to do so, even though they, for the whole of this game, have held on to this lead. It's starting to swing away from them. Now starting to lose that advantage. The experience pretty much even and back towards the mid. DY's gonna jump forward. DJ commits with the BKB shackles on up and fade. He's able to swap him out. Keep that Nixus has his safe. The Omni Slash comes out, bouncing around all of them, but it's on to the Medusa. The Medusa's up in the S. The Omni Slash is down. They've only killed off the Vengeful Spirit. DJ ruptured, hides in the trees, will be able to TP away. So Vici Gaming, they don't find any kills themselves. They have lost Avenge for a full minute. But Fnatic, they did have to commit a few ultimates for that attempt and only getting a support kill. Pretty much yeah, all the ultis but the Wukongs to get that just Avenge. Showing how much tankier Vici really is now. And I mean, even this, this Blood Road is it's pretty annoying. You know, they're trying to get these shackles. You have to, you know, you have to pop BKB to do so, but the rest of his teammates kind of had to doubt split away from there to get that catch. So... Promise put higher HP. Now he can actually uh, play a little bit more confidently with with it versus that Dusa as we see Abed also encroaching upon that MKB, which will help a whole lot versus that double butterfly as you were talking about. Uh, they need that in both of their cores. Man yeah. as well is going to have to have that pretty soon. The evasion is just getting too too much for them when they try and kill either Ori or Paparazzi. I think he was building a different. I think he was building like BKB before he wants to go for it though. As far as, far as I saw before on the jug. Yeah, he does have it queued up. Okay. Oh and he just keeps, I mean, he just keeps getting reapered. He keeps getting reaper sight inside of these team fights, so he's feeling a bit scared. Fnatic will be able to at least claim themselves these four bounty runes, so they still do have this map control coming out, but yeah, that do so just continue to have that top net worth. I'm getting closer to Ice 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 having the uh, assault caress. The sort of extra auras is only going to help out with the the damage output that they need to to kill off. He lost the cause of Vici Gaming. Yeah, and even like the defensive aspect they can give to just a little bit of extra armor with that AC plus Vlads during that split. This sort of slow game. Ori, he's going to have the Reaver very soon. This is, you know, with the last few times they've, they've not been able to deal with the Medusa. And it really isn't going to get any easier for Fnatic. This Medusa is really going to be in our element. 20k net worth, or he's at the top by quite some, quite some few thousand net worth. And Paparazzi has now overtaken MP for the first time in this game too. So the Bloodseeker is starting to become more of a relevant force. I mean, Paparazzi has definitely been a relevant force. He's been doing quite a lot of damage inside of the fights. And at this point, you know, despite the fact that Fnatic are 8k ahead, Ichi Gaming, they can feel their power. They, they can come out, start to push the waves over the river. They're not too scared at all. Yeah. The one thing that, that you know, the Dusa is, that, that gives you also is, it's a distraction. The Exteriori is very, very powerful, so you have to address this issue, but that gives a lot more opportunities for Paparazzi and Yang to just get their spells up. You saw how much focus was getting up. Oh, he's going to get it off. He's going to try and start the fight, but immediately Ori pops the BKB, starts to click through the promise, but with that extra health, they are going to be able to survive on the back lines. Arbet commits with the BKB, the Wukong's command down, fade. He's able to swap his way out of the ult, will still die. Those MPs there waiting on the side, but already Ori, he's killed off both of the supports. They had to buy back. And now MP, Reaper's side. He's dead for 110 seconds. Is he going to buy back to the Want to try and keep this fight going? He is. He's going to buy back. Jump forward from Ahmed onto Ori. They're focusing down this Medusa. DJ's trying to get in. They get the hex off onto the Medusa. But Yang picks up the double. Paparazzi is going so damn fast. And this Bloodseeker. It's a dieback on both of Fnatic's supports. Oh, oh my god, the blood rage. Getting right clicked down. Ori's still alive. Kills off the brew. The three dead for good off Fnatic. The Omni Slash not doing a whole lot. And now MP has to play Fury and back off. He's trying his best to retreat. Ahmed will be able to jump back towards the base, but Paparazzi, he's chasing this down, past the tier threes, into the base, DY will miss the stun, BKB's out from Arbet, he's trying his best to turn, look at what Paparazzi, can he do it, no, Paparazzi's out, Arbet's gonna be Arbet. careful, the Blood Bros gonna come in the wave of terror, Arbet's trying to get away, but Paparazzi chases it down, it's a full TY Vici Gaming wipe fanatic, no, no.
buybacks available, and Fiji Gaming, they're up to the high ground. They didn't lose a single hero during that. Fade with that clutch squat, bringing himself out of that. Wukong's and Ori just holds his ground. He dropped low. He got a Mystic Snake off in the middle of the fight. Went back up to about half or 60% mana. Blood Rage comes out. This is the, now this, this is, is the time I, can We can agree it. with this, this one, one we're okay with. This one we're okay with. Go for the tier fours. Go for the game ender. There's no buybacks on Fnatic. They know for sure about some of them with the way that that last fight played out with the buybacks used. A Desolator picked up by Yang. He's ready to close this one off. He's ready for his bedtime. Tier fours taken. Jabs is going to come forward. But the Ancient Falling G. Gordon Fiji Gaming will be your first grand finalist here at the Corsair Dream League Major, taking the series 2-1 to one against Fnatic. They kept their composure, and Fnatic, they didn't keep their composure. They kept trying to force it so hard, and Ori, you know, I was talking about how he is he is something that they do have to address, but when they have to focus absolutely everything on this Dusa, you saw Paparazzi in the fight. He starts running rampant. Everyone starts dropping low. He's able to run around, get these picks offs, and Yang, too. He got, I think, I checked really quickly in the middle of the fight. I think it was like 11 death pulls off, too, to save his teammates. So, yeah, when you get this, you know, when you have this Dusa that's so much of a focus point. And the way that they did it from behind.